Hi, my name is Josie and I'm the manager of customer success here at EdSite. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a grouping drag and drop question. I'm going to start on the create question page. I'm going to choose student action and then categorize classify. You'll see that grouping drag and drop is the first question type in my list, so make sure it's selected and then click the create question button. The first thing I'm going to do in my question editor is name my question. Then I can enter an optional stimulus in this space or a stimulus in this space. I'm then going to click the gear button and you can see I can have my answer bank layout on the bottom or I can have it on the left. See how it changes? I can also have two groups or I can add a group to make it three groups and I can click this box if I want students to reuse an answer choice. Once I'm finished I'm going to click the done button. Let me just get rid of this group three. Okay, click the done button and now we're going to enter our group title. You can do this by typing right in or clicking the blue pencil button. I'm going to type right in. and then you can enter your answers here. You can enter them by clicking on the blue pencil button or of course you can just type in a space. Click add answer to add another answer and there you go. If you want to delete an answer of course you would always click the red X button. Let's add for blue. Okay, there we go. Now you can also change the point value for this question. So since I have three answers, I'm going to change the point value to three. And then we always want to check to make sure that this question looks the way we expect in the student view. So click student view. There's my question. I can drag my answers into the correct column and we are ready to go. If you have any questions about this or anything on EdSite, please click the help or feedback button located at the bottom of your screen.